Hi, I'm Matt Slick from CARM.org. I wanted to do a video here and discuss the issue of, well, what the news media is calling radical Islam. I just want to start off and say it's not radical. What's happening around the world where people are being killed in the name of Allah, this is not radical Islam, it is true Islam. And I want to demonstrate that out of the Quran. But before I do, I need to explain something. See, the Quran is not written chronologically. It's written roughly from the biggest surah or chapter to the smallest. And so, chronologically speaking, the very last surah is Surah 110, and the second to last is Surah 9. And Surah 9 is the critical chapter because in it are admonitions to kill uh, unbelievers. I want to let you know that there is a concept in Islam called abrogation. The later surah, uh, surah 110, would abrogate or have superiority over surah 9. So what I want to do is read to you the information out of the Quran. I'm going to give to you surah 110. All right. When comes the help of Allah and victory, and thou dost see the people enter Allah's religion in crowds, celebrate the praises of thy Lord, and pray for his forgiveness, for he is oft returning in grace and mercy. All right, as you can see in the Quran, Surah 110 really doesn't say anything at all about killing anybody, nothing at all about that. So now what I want to do is read out of Surah chapter 9, out of the Quran. This is Surah 9.5. But when the forbidden months are past, then fight and slay the pagans wherever ye find them, and seize them, beleaguer them, and lie in wait for them in every stratagem of war. But if they repent and establish regular prayers and practice regular charity, then open the way for them, for Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. And then this is Surah 929. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden which hath been forbidden by Allah and his apostle, nor acknowledge the religion of truth, even if they are of the people of the book, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. So out of the Quran, what we see very clearly is Surah 9.5 and Surah 9.29 are teaching killing unbelievers, those who are against Islam. So why are the Muslims, these so-called radical Muslims, why are they going around killing people? They're doing it because the Quran teaches them to do that in Surah chapter 9. Remember, it's the second to last Surah written, therefore it is authoritative. Well, the Quran is the source of Islamic religion. The Quran is what they're supposed to follow. So when they're killing people, they're not being radicalized. They're not radical. They're actually doing what the Quran says to do. And that's an unpleasant truth about Islam.